the game, I'm like, my god, there's a courser in Far Harbor? My god, she's flagged as female! How bizarre. Actually, just be underneath armor, not clothes, wouldn't it? Because it already looks in the materials file. Uh, so this is the original one. We want to do Preston Body. Rename. In fact, she has a major quest line associated with her. But I was just so surprised that there was a freaking female courser in the game. I mean, the entire fact that there are no female, like, synths is the entire reason I made the female synths mod. Which, you know, makes actual female Gen 2 synths. So I was kind of surprised when I actually saw a female courser. Because there are none in the game. All of the Institute synths outside of the ones specifically related to quests, are male. Every last one of them. It would have been nice in the vanilla. So it, when I made my female synths mod, I went in and I made female courses. It does, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is literally check, check the female flag. Since coursers, coursers aren't a unique race. Coursers are flagged as humans. So their race is human. But they just have certain little, like, ver they have, like, bonuses, like immune to poison and stuff like that. You know, they have tougher stats. But they're but statistically, a courser is no different different game wise than a raider, a gunner, uh, a settler, a resident of Diamond City. Mechanically, they're all the same. They're the same race. Like for example, a ghoul is a separate race. Um, you know, dogs are a separate race. Uh, the player character is kind of sort of a separate race. The player character is kind of weird. Um, Feral ghouls are a separate race than, re than non-feral ghouls. Coursers are just human. They just have certain additional bonus flags assigned to them. So it really would have taken no effort whatsoever for them to make a female courser. It's literally just a matter of... Oh, I'll show you. Uh, I should have my female sense mod right there. Number 28, or 2B. So if I go to leveled NPC... Uh, no, it's not leveled NPC. It's going to be non-player character. So here. Here's Encounter Synth Courser. And here's Encounter Synth Courser by default. Oh, I, I haven't... Have I not set these things up properly? Have I not set up my uh, alternate coursers? Or are they just direct copies? They probably are just direct copies, aren't they? Compare selected. That's it. That's all it takes to make a female courser. That's it. Now, the female synths, of course, are a little more difficult. Like, for example, if I go with... Here's an Institute Courser, and where's the comparative? So here's a perfect example. Here's the, here's the Encounter Synth uh, template one for a Courser. We scroll down. What differences do you see? I change, well, I put an F on the name just for, uh, you know, life reasons. Down here in the head parts, you know, it has a different uh, head texture for the back of the head. Uh, different eye te just has different textures for the eyes but these are all default like you know player character ones it's, it's still maintaining the same male head synth tattoo has a different hairstyle but I honestly could have kept the same hairstyle if I wanted to the only other big difference here is that it uses the skin uh, the facial t texture for a female instead of a old male that's about it All this green stuff is stuff that doesn't change. It's a few cosmetic changes I had to do. I mean, if we were to look, say, for example, at uh, the synths as well, Encounter Synth 01, and we'll look at my female synth, Encounter Synth 01. Uh, 
Do I not have any of these flagged as female? They should be. Weird. None of these things are flagged as female, which is why they might have been spawning. All right, so these are all of my female sins. Compare selected. Yeah, the female flag is missing from a few of these. Easy enough to fix. That was easy. And these are all properly flagged as female? Yep. That's literally all I had to do. But like, for example, let's say encounter synth gen 201. Counter synth gen 201. Do I not have the original one? Probably don't because there's no changes to it. The counter synth, uh, counter synth gen 2, yeah, institute, counter synth gen 2 institute black. This is just encounter synth voice. I should have a comparable to that. Yes. Compare selected. So here's an example here. It's not really much of a change as you can see here. This one's have a few extra pieces of armor, that's about it. But yeah, just to turn them females, literally just a flag. Like, to actually create the female sense, literally all I had to do, since all I did was, if I go to the race file here, we look at the synth race, I renamed it for convenience of my, for, for my own convenience, obviously. But if you look here, there's a default female even-toned voice that's used here because they don't use it at all. So it just uses the generic female even-toned voice for like a resident. So I literally just changed it to the same as the male. So the female synths and the machine synths, the Gen 2s, have the exact same voice as the male ones. That was easy enough. We scroll down. I need to up... No, the stagger offsets is interesting. Maybe those were changed in a recent update. The stagger offsets or whatever. Uh, let's see here, hand to hand. Shield and torch. Interesting. I might need to re add those back in. Okay. Because when the game updates, obviously, it might break some of your mods that you've created. But that should be fine. So here, I just use uh, some different head parts for the head part female. Uh, Fable hair, hair color. It's just, you know few minor changes, and I created a new texture, obviously. I, I just love looking at this data because, like, for example, here. Look at, uh, where was it? The one where we saw the yellow. Because something had changed in vanilla. Where it talked about torches and whatnot. The thing you have to remember here. Hand-to-hand -hand melee. This game... Yep, they're just cosmetically different, yeah. And they have a different flag. Uh, some people might ha might have objections to the fact that the default gender is male, but there has to be a default gender. Something has to be a flag. Because men and women are, you know, they're, they're whatever way you want to look at it, something has to be the default. And they just made males a default. Now, I could give an entire tirade on the sexism overtones in the Fallout's dev team, but it's just a simple fact. It would have either been every female is a default, and, they, and then for male characters, they'd have to flag male. But considering that this is built on the Skyrim creation kit, which is in turn built upon the Oblivion creation kit, which is built upon the Marowind creation kit, you're basically looking at 
they, they would have basically had to change around everything f from the ground up from the original Morrowind engine that they've been building on and building on. Now, yes, granted, it's a better engine. It's more stable than the previous ones, but it's still building on the Morrowind, and it's still the Gam Gamrio engine. So you have to think about, you know, is it really worthwhile just to change one flag just to be more generally neutral? Considering the sheer amount of work you'd have to go through, basically, to set female as a default? Doesn't really make much sense, does it? Especially when it's literally just a behind-the-scenes game development stuff. As long as they're still getting, giving a good amount of female and male NPCs in the game, you should be fine with not uh, with the mechanics. You know, it doesn't really matter how the mechanics work on an engine that's over a decade old that they keep repurposing. There's only so much you can do to a decades-old engine. So, you know, I don't have much of an issue with that. I have an issue with in-game stuff, like... Even though my, even though I play a female character, and Nate's been dead for two hundred and ten years, there is in-game stuff that references Nate, but there is no in-game stuff that references Nora, whatsoever. Like if you go to the fraternal post in the game, even though Nate's dead is not the main character, they reference him by name, but there is nothing that references the female protagonist. In fact, the entire reason you get into the vault is because of the male protagonist, who is now dead. So, there's certain issues I take with the... with the it's, it's clear, clear as day to me, that the female protagonist was an afterthought. Which is really sad, because she's the much better voice actor. She delivers her lines so much more convincingly than... Now, yeah, I'm not saying the male a voice actor is a terrible voice actor... It's just the female voice actor blows him out of the water. Every line she delivers is just so much more convincing. Which is why I'm really enjoying playing the Sin of the Shroud! Because she really gets into that. But I digress. Back to working on material files and textures. <laughs> I actually don't need those in my head because I'm not listening to anything. <sighs> Are these properly linked up? Yeah. And, you know, I've got to give them props for one other thing, is that they haven't gender-divided clothes like they did in the previous games. Like, if I put on an outfit in Fallout 3, if I put a suit on a, as a woman in Fallout 3, it turns into a dress. They didn't do that. They, they actually went out of the way to make it so that if a man puts on a dress, it's a man in a dress. If a woman puts on a suit, it's a woman in a suit. There was one thing that I actually fixed in the mod that we're currently working on that kind of bugged me, is that if you did the curtain call, mod, uh, the curtain call quest, the reward you got was gender locked. So if you, after you re rescued rescue, if you're female, you get Agatha's dress. If you're male, you get Reginald's suit. So that meant that the reward that gives you plus three charisma, the best charisma bonus you can get in the game, you have to wear a dress. So what I did was I literally just went into the quest, curtain call, and I can understand why they didn't do it the way I'm doing it. You can see here if I scroll down to where it turns yellow, unless I scrolled past it, Around here somewhere? Yellow, 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 yellow. Where is our color change here that shows I actually changed something? There we go. So here, here. We have uh, the clo we have curtain call. We have a uh, clothing reward. You can see that the default is it directly gives you the clothes reward Agatha. Hey, Hetro. And it gives you clothes reward Reginald suit. What I did was I changed... Cause, um, Armor objects and leveled items are... We've been up for about an hour and 14 minutes, so the first half of that was me making a texture in Photoshop. And now we're talking about modding. So, like, here, you can see here in the default game, it directly gives you an, a uh, piece of armor. However, when it comes to rewards like this, you can give a armor, or you can give a leveled item. They're treated exactly the same. Like, for example, look right up here. Super Mutant... Auto rifle leveled item. 